How is everybody doing today? My name is Master Zero, and welcome back to another reaction video. This time we're reacting to the largest star in the universe, size comparison by In A Nutshell. Alright, so first things first, huge shout out to Thumbs Up, Thumbs Down Report. Thank you so much for uh, reminding me that this video existed. But uh, another thing too, like I did want to purposely push this one back just because like I love Gundams and like now I got into Attack on Titan and like big things and like size comparison and stuff really, really fascinates me. And then uh, someone told me about this video and I was like, oh yeah, I really want to do that. But I wanted to do it in a special occasion. So today is my birthday. Yeah, yeah, it's my birthday. But anyway, uh, <laughs> so uh, yeah, I wanted to address this uh, birthday special occasion, I guess, uh, to address the thanks thing that YouTube told me about. They were like, yo, your channel has super thanks now. And I'm like, what's that? And they're like, figure it out. And I'm like, cool. So I figured it out. And it's like super chats, but for like actual videos, which is really, really cool. So if you guys want to give me birthday wishes, feel free to do the super chat thing. I kind of want to see how it works. And y'all guys give me thanks for birthday. So I think it's a win win. And I couldn't think of any other reason to do the super thanks. So yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> but on to this video. I'm super excited to get into, get into it. I talked a lot right now, so without any further ado, here's the largest star in the universe. It's going to be amazing. What is the largest star in the universe? And why is it that large? That's a good and question. what are stars anyway? Things that would like to be stars. I'm sorry, we what is this? What is happening? Earth, not to learn anything, just to get a vague sense of scale. Okay. The smallest things that have some star-like properties are large Hiya. gas giants or sub-brown <laughs> dwarfs, like Jupiter. I was about to say, is that Jupiter? In the solar system, he said gas. It kind of gave it away. Three hundred and seventeen times more massive than Earth. Yeah, it is. More or less made of the same monkey. stuff as our sun, hey just much, much less of it. The transition towards stars begins with brown dwarfs. Oh, I already love this man. I love this so much. To their moms. Oh. They have Why'd you have to add their mom into this? Times the mass of Jupiter. Oh. So even if we took 90 Jupiters and threw them at each other, although fun to watch, why would you do it that? Be enough to create a star. You were not God. Interesting. That'd be cool though. Adding lots of mass to a brown dwarf doesn't make it much bigger. Just it's in more size dense. denser. Yeah. <laughs> this increases the oh, I love this. core enough to make space, nuclear science, reactions size, happen slowly, oh. and the object glow a little. Let's go. So brown dwarfs are a sort of glowy gas giant that don't fit into Aww. any category very well. See, you we want to talk about stars, you're important. not failed oh. wannabe stars. So oh. let's move on. <laughs> I forgot no it was it technically stars. wasn't a star. Once large gas balls pass a certain mass threshold, their cores become hot and dense enough to ignite. Hydrogen Burn, is fused baby. to helium in their cores, oh, no. releasing tremendous amounts of energy. Oh. Stars that do that are called main sequence stars. Let's go. The more massive a main sequence star is, the hotter and brighter it burns, and the shorter its life is. Oh, Once yeah, kind of great give take. Phase is Learned over, that in the previous stars video. Stars grow up to hundreds of thousands oh. of times their original <laughs> size, but these giant phases oh. only last for a fraction of their lifespan. So we'll be comparing Ooh. stars at drastically different stages in their lives. Let's go. This doesn't make them less impressive, but maybe it's good to keep in mind Aww. that we'll be comparing babies to adults. Now back to the beginning. Okay, thank you. <laughs> the smallest real stars are red dwarfs, about 100 hey, you times said he was the mass fake. of Jupiter, barely massive enough to fuse hydrogen to helium. Because they are not He's very trying, massive, okay. <laughs> they are small, not very hot, and shine pretty dimly. They are the only stars in the main sequence that don't grow once they die, oh. but sort of fizzle out. Oh. Red dwarfs Time. are by far the most How abundant much type just passed the right there. Because they burn their fuel very slowly, it lasts them up to 10 trillion years. A Can't thousand keep up. <laughs> times the current age of the universe. Oh my god. For example, one of the Thank you for adding the big bane there. That really added star, the perspective Barnard there. Star. But it shines too dimly to be seen without a telescope. Aww. We made a whole video on red dwarfs if you hey. want to learn more. Do I remember that? Did the I react to that? Are stars Honestly, like don't remember. Sun. <laughs> to say the sun dominates too the solar system in this one. is not doing it justice, since it makes up 99.86% of all its mass. It burns far hotter and brighter than red dwarfs, which reduces its lifetime. Already, to about the size 10 comparison years. is crazy. The sun is seven times more massive than Barnard's star, or Earth. but that makes it nearly 300 times brighter with twice its surface temperature. That's so pretty. 
Let's go bigger. Never mind, that's prettier. Small changes in mass and produce I guess enormous bigger. changes in a main sequence star's brightness. The brightest star in the night sky, Sirius, is two solar Sirius? with a radius of Amazing name. Why is it Sirius A? Sun, but its surface is nearly 10,000 degrees Celsius, making it shine 25 times brighter. Okay. Burning that hot reduces its total lifespan by I was about four to say, times to two point five billion years. God dang! Stars it's close still to ten pretty impressive. Of our sun Not in the grand scheme of things, but near if you need human brain, that's a big Celsius. number. Beta Centauri contains two of these massive stars, each shining with about twenty thousand oh. times the power of the sun. That's a lot of power coming from something only thirteen <laughs> oh times my larger, God. but they'll only burn for about twenty million years. Entire generations of these blue it's stars die. Vastly in the smaller the sun uh, to orbit the galaxy life once. form spanned. So Can't talk right now. The formula: the more massive, the larger the star. The most massive star that we know God, is like, R136A1. The accumulation with the music it and it's just so beautiful. And is nearly nine million times brighter than the sun. And yet, despite its I can't even imagine that. Power, just the light. Thirty times the size of the sun. The star is so extreme and barely held together by Chicken gravity Supreme? that it loses 321,000 billion tons of material through its stellar wind oh. every single second. Oh! <laughs> Stars of this sort are extremely rare because they break the rules of star formation a tiny bit. It's when smidge. supermassive it's stars are born, they burn extremely hot and bright, and this blows away any extra gas that could make them ah. more massive. So oh. the mass limit for such a star is around. I was about to say, so that's the cap. The sun. Stars like R one three six A one are what probably doing? formed through the merger of several high mass stars in dense star forming ah, regions. That's what you're doing. And burn their core hydrogen in only a few. Million only a few years. million. So Dang. this means they are rare and short lived. Yeah. From here, the it's kind of sad. Bigger isn't adding more mass. To make the biggest stars, the music is amplifying. Kill them. Oh. oh. Red giants. When main sequence the red dwarfs, now we got the giants in their core, it contracts, making it hotter and denser. This leads to hotter and faster fusion, which pushes back against gravity and makes the outer layers swell in a giant phase. Oh my god. And these stars become truly giant indeed. Let's go. For example, Gakrux. What'd you call me? More massive than the sun, it has only swollen to million. about 84 times its radius. Still, when the sun enters the last stage of its life, <laughs> what? it will swell and become even bigger. <laughs> Holy crap! Times its Whoa! Radius. In this final phase of its life, that's our it sun. Swallow the inner planets. Oh! And if you think that's impressive, I think we're one of them. Introduce the largest stars in the universe. Oh, no, almost. For the next one over. Hypergiants are the giant Hyper -giants. Phase of the most massive stars in the universe. Oh. They have an enormous surface area. You decompopulating? What is happening? An insane amount of light. Being it's so large, being they're basically out. blowing themselves apart. Oh. As gravity at the beautiful surface death. is too weak to hold Nothing more beautiful and final. Which is lifted away in powerful stellar winds. God damn, Pistol man. Crystal star is 25 solar Pistol masses. Star. But 300 times the radius of the sun, a blue hypergiant aptly you mean that dot? energetic That's our sun? starlight. Sure about that? It's hard to say exactly how long Pistol Star will live, but probably just a few million years. Yeah, given the dramatic the chunk taken from all the other life forms. The most well studied is Rho Cassiopeia, a star. Rho Cassiopeia? So it can be seen I said that right. Eye, but I can't say Kurt's again, really? Of light years from Earth. At 40 solar masses, this star is around 500 times the radius of the sun and 500,000 times brighter. If the Earth were as close to Rho Cassiopeia as it is <laughs> to the sun, it would be inside it and you would be very dead. Ah, oh, yeah, or not Yellow even existed to begin with. Very rare, though, I love it. Only 15 are known. Oh. This means they're likely just a short lived intermediate state. As a star grows or shrinks between other phases of hypergiantness. Oh, so it's kind of an in between red stage. We reach the largest stars known to us, probably the largest stars even possible. Dang. So, who's the winner of this insane contest? Well, the truth is, we don't know. Oh, okay. Red hypergiants are extremely bright. Now the music and is so epic, away, man. Which means that even tiny uncertainties in our measurements. Can give us a huge margin that of is error true. for their size. 
Worse still, sure, distance red plays a huge part in it. Solar system sized behemoths that are blowing themselves apart, which makes them hard when to you put measure. it that way. As we do more science huh. and our instruments improve, it's just a lot of jam. The Sorry about that. Star is will change. The star He's so that done is with it, dude. thought to be among the largest we found is Stevenson 218. It was probably born as a main sequence star a few tens of times the mass of the sun and has likely lost about God half speed, its mass Stevenson. by now. What are, I think While Stephen typical Henry? red hypergiants are 1,500 times the size of the sun, the largest rough estimate places Stephenson 218 at 2,150 solar radii and shining with almost half a million times the power of the sun. Oh my god. By comparison, the sun seems like a huh. grain of dust. Hello! Our brains don't really have a way of grasping this kind of scale. Even yeah, I speed, cannot comprehend this, my guy. 8.7 hours to travel around it once. In light the speed. The fastest plane on Earth would take 8.7 hours in light years. speed. Dropped on the sun, it would fill Saturn's orbit. Really? As it evolves, it will probably it shed took everything. even more mass and shrink down into another hotter. Can Pluto be a planet phase, now for accumulate once? Accumulate heavy elements in its core before Maybe it doesn't finally want to be. exploding in a core collapse supernova, wow. giving its gas back to the galaxy. Oh. This gas will you then go take, on right? to form another generation of stars of all sizes. Let's go. Starting the cycle of birth and death again. It's a full circle. Our universe. And it kind of looks like a cobra. Let's make this journey again, but this time without the talking. Oh. The universe is big. Okay. There are many large things in it. Yes. Yes. Already gone. Gone. Everything's just gone. Yes. This is my favorite part of the video. <laughs> yes. If you want to play a single bit tier size stuff, we love have it. good news. Love everything We've about this. Our first app, Universe in a Nutshell. I'm sorry. With Tim Urban, the brain Hi. behind Hi, you have a absurdly been you can see Mr. Long neck, I should say, not big. Existence, past the coronavirus, human oh. cells and dinosaurs, oh. all the way to the largest stars and galaxies. Oh my god, I love everything about this. I love those videos of like universe. the the game you maps, like the size comparison of game maps. I love it. Everything. I love size. Scale of it all. I don't know why. The it's app just is inspired by amazing. the scale of the universe website by the Huang twins. Oh, you have a shadow. A of time with when it came out years ago, and felt that it was finally time to create a wait but why and Kurzgesagt version. You can get it in your app that is store. really there dope. No really? And no ads. Straight up. All future updates are included. And since this is our first app, we'd love to hear your feedback. So you we are can a improve saint. Over time. Thank if you. This sounds good to you. Yeah. Download the universe. This was a year old. I wonder if it's still going. And leave us a five-star review if you want to support I it. I will. Kurtzgesagt if it's good. And all the projects we do are then most show, it's funded be good. by viewers like you. So if you like the app, oh. we'll make more digital things in future. <laughs> oh, I Thank love you for it. Watching. Thank you. Oh, it's so lovely. That's the one that I reacted to before that was amazing. All of it is so good. All right, so that was a fantastic video to celebrate my birthday. That was awesome. I loved every bit of that. Like the whole size comparison of the different suns and like to go to something as big as a sun, like try to, I mean, not sun, I'm, I'm sorry, star. I mean, it is a sun in, in the long run of things, but like the star, like take something as big or what can be as big as a star, like hypothetically, and then just see like how far you could go with it. Like, and this is the, the only, like to the known ones that we know about, like it could like keep going from there that we have no idea like beyond our solar system beyond those little asteroid things that are blocking our milky way from other galaxies and stuff like it's such it's freaking crazy and like me talking about it like i'm probably just rambling and babbling about it but it just excites me so much i love space i love just everything about it the unknowing of it the size of it the i don't know it's freaking insane so i love it i love everything about it so thank you everybody so much for watching leave a like down below subscribe ring the bell and check out the merch and become a member you get videos a day early so with that said i have been master zero y'all guys have been fantastic and i'll see y'all in the next episode later days